like, have y'all ever really taken the time to sit and read these labels? Like, it is chaotic. It's really like what it's like to be in my mind. So, as you can see by the thumbnail, I got a Target haul, y'all. So, if that is something that you're interested in seeing, then let's go ahead and get into it. It's like I ran out of everything in the last couple weeks so i just kind of did like a health and hygiene haul at target and i'm just gonna share it with y'all first up i got a loofah if you saw my vlog i just got some ancient cosmetics like items and so the body wash that i got from them probably works better on a loofah and i haven't used what is, is this a loofah? Is that what this is called? Whatever it's called, I think I call it a loofah, but um, I just think that the body wash will work better even though I'm almost out of it if I use one of these because it don't work with a washcloth. So, picked one of those up. What else I got in here? Um, I just went ahead and re-upped on my honey pot, y'all. I love these. I love the tingling sensation, the herbal infused. But in case you didn't know, they do make all of them without the herbs, just in case the tingles too much. But uh, I got the overnight and the super because you can never have too many of these around. So went ahead and got those. And I picked up the tampons just in case. Why not, right? I ran out of mouthwash. And y'all remember last year when everybody was talking about the Thayer Breath? I feel like it was on Amazon for a really good price. I didn't try it then, I decided to try it now. I was really just in Target and I feel like I picked up everything. But um, I got the Invigorating Icy Mint. I have never tried this out before, so wish me luck. If you have tried Thayer Breath, let me know, is this super strong? Is your mouth like super clean after using it? I guess if you want me to, I'll give you an update and let you know how this goes. So I picked up these Japanese, is that how you say that? Uh, Complexion Perfection Derma Planers. This is strictly my friend Michael's fault. I mean, it's not really her fault. She texted me and asked me, had I ever like shaved my face at home? And I was like, no, I'm afraid, I'm clumsy, I'm gonna like, scrape all of my skin off and she was like okay she was gonna try it but just because she planted the seed in my head when i saw these i picked them up but yeah it's supposed to increase the absorption of serums and moisturizers and you know i had fallen off my skincare journey that's why you haven't seen any skincare videos in a really long time but i'm back like i'm back on it you know fresh face farin is really where i'm trying to be and so um, I'm gonna be on YouTube trying to figure out how to do these safely. Comment down below if you have any tips. I got replacement brush heads for my travel toothbrush. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I do have one of those click brushes. It's not like an automatic toothbrush, but I really like that you can just change the like the head like with automatic toothbrushes or what are, is it, are they called automatic? But whatever. Um, and so you only have to buy these like once a year because it comes with two heads. And if you replace it every six months, once a year, right? So went ahead and pick those up. Oof, I got my good old iron peels, 300. Because y'all, your girl, I was sitting at my desk the other day and I literally got lightheaded and like low-key dizzy. I had to lay down and I really think it was my iron because I hadn't taken my pills in like three weeks. So I'm, I'm back on it, I'm drinking my water, taking my multivitamin. It's been four days, but I had to re-up on my iron pills, y'all. Gotta stay on top of your health. I'm getting too old to be thinking I'm like 25 and I can just get up and do what I want to. No, sis, take your vitamins. I picked up one of the 18 and one Castile soaps. Y'all, you can use this soap to do virtually anything. Um, I got the almond just because I like the scent of it. I actually plan on making my own shampoo with this, um, but I just got this big old size because you can use it for so many different things. You can even wash your body with it. You're just gonna be extra, extra clean. Um, you know, I've seen videos with people washing their hair with it and it will strip you 
down. It comes with instructions, which I highly, highly recommend that you follow. Like, have y'all ever really taken the time to sit and read these labels? Like, it is chaotic. It's really like what it's like to be in my mind. But yeah, um, this Dr. Bronner's has been a staple in my life for years. I cannot go wrong with it. So yeah, I picked this up. I needed a new hand soap for one of my bathrooms, but like looking at it, I just might put it in my kitchen because I'm in there more often. I just saw this, it was new. I've never even heard of this. Goodness, beautifully clean, natural hand wash. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I am like into the whole self care and I've started posting my fragrances and scents and things. And so when it said it had oud, cedar and amber i just kind of picked it up because these are all the things that i enjoy i didn't even read this um this bottle is made from 100 percent recycled material okay contains natural oils okay plant-based clean cleaner mild plant-based cleanser um let me let me see what it smells like honestly mm -hmm. It smells manly, but I like that. It's like, um, oh, it smells like. What is that Bath and Body Works candle that I love that kind of smells like a man? Mahogany teakwood? Almost. It's like mahogany teakwood, little cousin. Mm hmm. But I like it. Hand soap. Now, as I said before, I am almost out of the Ancient Cosmetics body wash. So I picked up this Olay Rough Dry Skin. It's about to be cold, y'all. And my skin is dry and it can be rough. I've never tried this one with cocoa butter before. I did try the one with, hmm, I can't remember. Retinol, something. It's in my products empty video. And honestly, I use it religiously and I couldn't really tell the difference in my skin, but people rave about it. But either way, Olay Rough Dry Skin Total Body Moisture, we will really put this to the test. And if this doesn't work, I'm never buying Olay Body Wash again because it's high key, not cheap. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to give this a try and see how it works on my dry rough skin. And so that is all that I picked up on this little haul from Target. I told y'all it wasn't too crazy. It was just really restocking up on things that I needed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.